Welcome to Mother Art Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're going to share a simple HVAC task that can help prevent a clog. We're going to start by sharing about a massive clog I had in my unit, a great tip from the technician about how it probably happened, a way to maintain the unit so it doesn't happen in the future, and also what's the lifespan of an HVAC system. About a year ago, Steph came out to the garage and right behind us she found this mystery water on the wall and on the floor. So she pulled everything away so she could see if she could find where the water was. And she looked up and there was water dripping from the AC pan. So the first step was we needed to get rid of the water and we used a wet dry vac to suck up the water from the pan and then we used some puppy pads to absorb any of the other water. Then I called the company that installed my unit and they had a technician out the next day. The technician came out and he discovered a massive clog in the condensation line and that's the line that goes from your AC unit, whether it's here in the garage or like mine, is in the attic and it goes to the outside of your house and that's where the condensation drips. Well, he thinks what happened was that this little elbow joint that goes on the end of the line was facing down rather than up and it needs to face up in order to keep air and other stuff from clogging up the line. Now he was able to eventually clear that line with high pressure nitrogen, but while he was here, he also did another thing that will allow us to keep it cleaned. He installed a T-fitting on the condensation line, which is now standard with new AC units, but this allows me to actually put bleach in the line every so often, and it will clear the line out of any kind of clogs and help prevent any of those clog issues in the future. So he told me, during the summer months when the unit is only running AC and no heat to do it about once a month, put bleach in and just let it run through the line. He also said that every couple of months I can use a wet dry vac to suck up water out of the condensation line outside. And so we've started to set a reminder on our phones and we've started to uh, just do the bleach and then I also use the wet dry vac just to make sure there's no other clogs in it and it's been running smoothly it's been a year that we've been following this during the winter months we don't need to do that because the unit is not running as much but here in florida we want to make sure we have a perfect running ac unit especially in the summertime so this is a must task and it is in our phones and we get reminders and it's being done at me and mom's house and it's really simple i do pour the bleach in the line and then mom is out by the condensation line to watch it as the water's flowing out and we can tell when it's fully clear. The AC technician told us to just run straight bleach in the line to clear it out about once a month in the summertime. Now I did look this up and there's varying levels of information about what to do. Some people saying to not put full bleach, some people to say warm it up, to do warm water, things like that. So we are doing the bleach but then we're following it up with warm water and that seems to even help clear it out even more. So I would do whatever your technician says but maybe try some things out and see what works best for your line. Now the other thing that that technician did was to replace the faulty safety float switch. And that is the switch that if there, get, if there does get to be water in that pan, that safety switch will trip and will turn your unit off. Well, hers didn't do that. It had failed, so we put a new one in there. So if we ever have a problem with the water building up, that should turn off the AC unit. And we also installed a Flow by Moen, which is a water leak detector. And we actually have any place that there is water, sinks, toilets, all those things, any place where water can potentially leak. And we have used those in real life situations we've had leaks they've gone off and it's perfect and the install is literally place yes. it there and the battery lasts about about a year but you let the app will tell you when you need to replace it so it's really no work at all and you get alerted right when there's water before it's on the floor mm -hmm. and lastly when the technician was here I asked him a couple questions about HVAC systems in general. So mine is actually 19 years old. It came with my house and I asked how long they typically last and he told me about 20 years. So in my mind I thought okay so I probably be gonna need a new one in the next few years and um, I asked him for my house it's about 1400 square feet and he said the unit for me would probably be around $8,000. So keep that in mind when you have a unit so you can keep that in mind and maybe put aside some money for a future replacement.
And this was actually the first time I've had maintenance done on my unit since I moved into my house 12 years ago. So I asked him how often should maintenance be done. He said every two years, taking apart the outside unit, opening it up, cleaning out the inside, cleaning the coils, and cleaning out the drain line. So I will be calling him in two years to do that just to make sure that everything is cleared out. And also if I need a new unit, he should be able to tell me that at that point too. So that is the very simple maintenance you need to do is to run some bleach in your line. If you don't have that line, on your AC unit, you might want to call a company to do some maintenance and maybe install that line for you so that you can prevent those clogs for yourself in the future. All right, well, thanks for joining. If you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and join our newsletter. It is free to subscribe. Mom writes it and we share our new projects and what we're working on. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Stay cool.